In this session, we will see about uh, validation rules in Oracle Fusion Cloud Groovy. Uh, so when it comes to va about validation rules, uh, what exactly validation rule means? Uh, uh, when we are when we create some transaction or some record, or when we are going to update some record, so if we want to uh, stop the user uh, to uh, to proceed based on some business rules, so then we can uh, use validation rules uh, to to enter uh, invalid data into systems. For example. Uh, so based on some uh, some fields, right? So we need to we need to we need to enter some additional information. So then we will uh, create a validation rule, and we will say that uh, when that con condition met, so throw this uh, throw an error message to the end user, and so that user will get no user should know. What is the reason for uh, stopping uh, stopping the creation or updation for that particular record? And user should uh, correct those uh, things, and then he should re-enter with the correct information. So, uh, so now we'll uh, we'll go to. Uh, opportunities and then we'll try to find a, a, a scenario like where uh, opportunity amount should be greater than uh, some value uh, if it is uh, if win probabilities something greater than 50 okay so that is our condition so if win probability is greater than 50 then uh, and then if amount is zero then we should throw an error uh, on saving okay that's our uh, condition so how we will write this uh, this using validation rule we, we will see so to that we should go to tools and we should go to application composer and then search for the object and expand opportunity and go to server scripts. So in server script, uh, we will write the validation rules. Okay. So we'll write from scratch. So object validation rules are two types. Uh, one is object validation object rules and the other one is field rules. So object rules will work when we save a particular record or create a but create a record. Field rules will trigger when a particular field is changed. So now we'll create one object rule and we'll say it uh, amount validation and error message uh, will be uh, amount should be greater than hundred if the probability is more than fifty. Okay, now we'll write if so we need to find the field for amount right so we'll go to uh, opportunity list and then we'll search with amount okay so revenue is the attribute name so we'll take that if amount is greater than okay amount should be less greater than 100 right so if it is less than if it is less than 100 
and and one more condition is win probability so we'll check for win probability if win probability is greater than 50 revenue is less than 100 and win probability is greater than 50 then uh, return false so here return false means throw uh, error message uh, written in error message box so return true means so return true means uh, do not throw error message so that's that's the meaning that's the difference between return true and return false so now validate and test the risk, test the changes when probability is greater than 50 and then revenue if it is less than 100 then uh, error will come So now, uh, yeah, so it's already 70, it's greater than um, 50 and amount is already uh, less than 100. So now if we update something, it should throw an error, right? Amount should be greater than 100 if the probability is more than 50. So now we'll make it something 40 and then we'll try to save it shouldn't throw an error yes it didn't throw uh, error because when probability is less than 50 and and even if it is uh, 70 and if uh, if the price is uh, more than 100 So, so then also it, it shouldn't throw any error. Okay. So now our validation rule is working fine. So now we'll go back to application composer. Now uh, we'll we will move the same validation to a trigger. So when a probability value is value is changing, so then we will uh, check the same and then we'll try to uh, throw the S error okay we'll copy the script Now we'll go to field rules and then we'll select win probability field.
Okay. We don't have a uh, win probability, but we have amount. We'll select amount. We'll use the same message. Now here, since we selected amount, so the uh, the in in place of revenue, we can also use a new value keyword. But we can also use the APA name. Anything is fine. So if revenue is less than hundred and when probability is greater than 50, so then it will throw an error. Now, as soon as the amount is getting updated, the validation rule will fire and then it will throw validation if it doesn't meet any condition. Okay, so now uh, the win probability is 70. So one condition is satisfied, but another condition is that doesn't satisfy. To trigger the validation, we need to update this amount field. To update amount field, we need to change the revenue line here. So we'll, we'll use something like here uh, 59 or 70. Uh, and then we'll save. Or so ideally this should work, but uh, amount is a calculated field, so it might not behave but we'll will will trigger the same validation based on the checkbox referenceable so it means when we select when we click on that referenceable so the validation should fire and then it should throw an error we'll again copy the script and move the Move, move to different uh, the referenceable field So, so when we select, okay, we'll add one more condition here, uh, referenceable. If, if referenceable is Y, so then only it should tr trigger. So if referenceable, it underscore c equal to equal to y and remaining condition satisfied then only return false else return true
so now first will decrease the amount So while working with uh, field rules, we should uh, note that uh, uh, if we want whatever field we have, right, uh, we have used field trigger. So that field, uh, if you are uh, using that field, uh, so we need to use a new value keyword to get the late current value. So if we use API name here, referenceable underscore C, so then it always it, it it will consider the previous value or previously stored value in database so it will consider that so to reflect the changes immediate uh, the changes immediately right so we need to take we need to consider new value so this is the uh, uh, keyword which will work only in the field triggers field not not field triggers field validation rules okay so this is the change and now we'll go back to uh, the screen and then we'll verify the changes now now if we click on that referenceable checkbox so the validation should fire and then it should throw an error message if if the condition is not satisfied so now the win probability is 70, one condition satisfied. Amount is less than 100, it's not satisfied. And now if I click on referenceable, it should throw an error. Amount should be greater than 100 if win probability is more than 100. So Now, if I save, this, this should get saved. And even if I uncheck, it doesn't throw any error. And even if I check now, since it's already validated and uh, the validation will pass, so it doesn't throw any error. So this is how we will make sure that the uh, data that that is being entered uh, to system is correct uh, using this validation rules and and uh, the other there are other ways to throw errors using triggers we'll discuss in the next sessions and the difference between field uh, validations and object validations is only uh, so field validation will fire whenever we change particular uh, the same field, but object validation rule will work only on clicking save, save and close or create, okay? So that's all.